not going to tell you who I am because I'm sure you know but uh, new haircut just had it done today and I, uh, someone asked are you going to grey and yes I've decided I'm going to let my hair colour go to grey it's almost grey now I've got a few bits of colour in the top that's left but I've got this lovely patch of whitey blonde there whitey white and the rest is dark round the back it's all dark so I figured let's see what it looks like because when I went to France last year and when I went this year it seems you know how the French ladies are always nice they're nicely dressed and they're all very um, um, what would you say they are very uh, haute couture very high fashion well it seems to me that in France in particular the fashion is to go grey and to go grey gracefully and it's right I thought it was rather nice because some really lovely looking ladies uh, are going in absolutely lovely colour of grey so I thought right let's join the ranks and if I look like a really old granny the colour will come back on <laughs> however I don't think I've got it here I will put a little bit I've got a little snippet somewhere where I colour some of my hair with these colouring crayons to add a bit of colour to it so uh, I should, might be getting a few more different colours you never know you might see me with blue hair or you might see me with um, shocking pink or something well I've already had the pink or the purple she's here she's here can you hear her I'll get no peace unless I let her in. I bet she still cries. Come on then. And I bet you she still cries. Yeah. Can you see that? No. Um, I'm going to... When I did that question and answer uh, vlog the other day, people came back to me with certain comments and things. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, every now and again, I'm going to put in a little bit of, you'll probably see it, I'll put it down, somebody says something and uh, a recommendation that someone says, and I'll reference you, whoever it is that said it. And I think that'd be quite nice because it'll make you feel as if you're getting involved in the, in the vlogs as well. So uh, watch out for these little tips and tricks and, and comments that come on in between different things. Someone was saying what kind of shape flatters a big bust. This kind of shape for me also flatters me. Uh, I feel it flatters me. Uh, sometimes I would have it open with a with a tank top or a little. Let's, I've got one on anyway. So I'll show you. Sometimes I would have it open like this in the summer or in warmer weather. You could have it open like that, and you're hiding the bumps and the bulges. And because I've got a black t-shirt on underneath, it's not so bad. I quite like this. Um, I think it was just about £10 again. I like my rolled up sleeves, but it's um, as it's so cold, I've got my padded gilet on in my little workshop. The heater is on, the gilet is on, and we're all set to have a little chat with you. So I'm going to fasten my shirt up, not because I, wanted, I don't want to display my goods and sundries, but because it's cold and the heater hasn't heated up yet. Uh, right, so I this is my new workshop still not completely finished still got a way to go but when I do get it, get it all finished I'll let you have a look at it um, I'll take you on a little quick tour of it once it's tidied up as well but I was trying to think of a name that I should call my room so I've decided to call my little room my little building the fortress of solitude which is a place of solace for Superman in the DC comics but it's also very very handy because I come here for peace and quiet not that I've got anybody to get peace and quiet from because the other half is in his room having peace and quiet probably playing his guitar rather loudly but I like listening to it but sometimes my little one of my little supermen the grandchildren come in here so he could call it a fortress of solace as well so this is good fortress of solitude as well so this is going to be what it's called and I'll show you when I'm, I'm going to make my own sign and I'll let you see it when I finally get it made um
right and so where shall i start i shall start with telling you what i have been making i actually made this if i can find it way back in about the middle of january but i've been so i've been not busy but busy where i work i'll play we, we we've been very quiet at work but we've decided to take advantage of that time to start clearing things out and putting things you know getting rid of things tidying up and and sorting it out so the daytime was taken do it doing that and uh, i seem to have done an awful lot of babysitting so i haven't really had much chance to sew i got more chance in february uh, the, the beginning of february and I'm starting to have more time now so I will be doing a lot more sewing but the one pattern that I did which is a free pattern is the Jaily 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 Yoko and that is the pattern it's on a bit of a grey paper so it's not that good to see but she actually looks quite young on it I think it's the sizes the pattern sizes are really really um really uh how would you describe it extensive that is the collar if you see that that's the collar there so it's that way and that collar the sizes go from there's a little grid that tells you what they are they go from a to f the pdf you've got to print it off and i actually like printing these off I don't mind because it means I've got my pattern instant instantaneously it means that I can start sticking it together and I can actually get sewing it that night if I go looking for patterns or I see something that isn't a PDF I think oh god right well I'll have to order it it might take two or three days I might get it by Friday which means well, I'll have to get the material oh, I might get it sorted you know and, and it, it, it delays things but I do like this and it's a bit like I don't know that to me there's some kind of pleasure <laughs> weird pleasure of sticking your pieces of paper together and um of course I, uh, I've got I think I've got we've got my five printers so I'll never run out of ink which doesn't yeah, I mean that's a bit unfair on you lot if you haven't got one but uh, it is I do like doing it this way but it's this jelly pattern covers a lot of sizes and the sizes run from the smallest size which is an F has a chest 45 centimeters Where are we? Is that this? It doesn't tell you what they are. Hold on. Ah, no. Number three. It's does a fifth. It starts. The smallest size is a fifteen and a half inch chest, and the largest size is. That's not it either. Right. The small. I'll get it right yet. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. I got it all wrong. The smallest size is a twenty-eight and a half inch chest and the biggest size is a 57 inch chest well i did i've actually trimmed it down and i went to double b which was uh why on earth i did a double b i don't know that's probably why it was big it was a 54 inch chest well i'm only 44 so i have no idea why i did a double b uh, a double b double a double b yeah no idea why i did that because it was far too big i actually finished it i put uh, and the fabric that i used was i haven't got any here now it was some fabric that i got from tanya fabrics it was a lovely knitted fabric on the outside and it was i didn't know but it was fleece lined inside really like a very um wintry fleece and when i saw it on tanya fabric she said does anybody want some of this and we all said what is it is it jersey does is that neither and she came back with i think it's jersey i think it's that and you couldn't actually see the coloring now i thought it was a black background with flowers all over it and um i assumed it was just like a jersey like a sweatshirt type of well it is a sweatshirt type jersey to be honest you know you get fleecy line jerseys Jer uh, sometimes you get fleecy line jersey well that's what it's like it was knitted on the outside with fleecy lined and um when it came i wasn't so keen on the coloring i loved the flowers but uh, the background was like a dark brown and i don't do dark browns i find it hard to attack to cope with dark browns but nevertheless i made it i made this jelly yoko pattern but this jelly pattern is really for stretches 
and the the one thing I found about that sweatshirt material was it didn't stretch very much it the width stretch was absolutely nil and the length stretch was nil it was definitely nil lengthways widthways you could pull it a little bit but not much it didn't have the stretch like most jerseys so that was a downside so in a sense it was a good job that I made the bigger size because the fact that I made the bigger size meant that I could take it in a bit and the first one I did I had the pockets in the sides and I put a video up of me when I'm wearing it and it just looks baggy and awful and big and or despite it being baggy down here the neck was very tight and the actual pattern if I can show you the pattern again if I can find it there, oh, where is it the pattern she has a fairly baggy type of neck but the one that I had wasn't baggy so what I did was um, I took this this collar and that was a collar like that and it was basically a one that folds over so it's going to be that high is that right yes because that's the fold line and I found that that right the way around because of the fabric that I had just was a struggle to get over my head so I decided to put a panel down the front and then I thought I still wanted it back here again I put a panel down the back um, and it fitted a lot better so then This is the finished uh, top. Um, <clears throat> I'm. It was some fabric that I got from Tanya Fabric, and on the picture that she showed, I thought it was lovely. I thought the background was black, but it's actually like a dark brown. I also have a little cat again. A little cat who spends all her time meowing at me, don't you? Are you going to be quiet while I'm filming? Eh? <clears throat> anyway, uh, when it came. I had asked her, I said I wanted two meters, I think it was, I ordered. When it came, I liked it, but it's a very, it's actually almost like a, it's knitted on the outside. It's not, although it's knitted, it's not stretch at all. It has very little stretch about it. Let's see if I can show you. It's not going to be easy with one hand, but let me just, if I put my elbow on here and pull. Right, let me put. It has got a little bit of, of width way stretch. If I pull there, it's got a little bit of width way stretch, but the downward stretch there's virtually none. And the other thing, it's it's gonna to have to be a winter one because it is fleecy lined. This is the fleecy line bit. You see the fleece? Fleecy lined. Um so that kind of made me think, oh, it's not something I would have bought. Um it's um it's lovely i do like it it's probably to me it's probably a bit too much all one, all one pattern but uh i i suppose i shouldn't complain that i have it didn't have a pocket so i put pockets in in the side seam uh then the the sleeves are offset now i don't have a cover stitch machine so I just did basically two two lines of straight stitch, not totally straight in places, but two lines of straight stitch there on the cuffs and on the hem. And round the top, when I cut the collar, I didn't feel that it was big enough. It was very, very tight. So I've actually put had to put a piece in there, going up there, and I've had to do the same on the back as well because it just felt that little bit too 
too big too tight rather so that having tried it and found it was really big here i then decided oh, i'm not you know i thought i can't wear this it just wasn't doing anything for me so i then took it in but because i took it in these pockets had to be removed and then i thought oh, i don't want to start doing the pockets again but by the time i jiggled and pickled and wiggled and everything with it i decided oh no this isn't going to work and i was running out of fabric so i figured right pockets on the outside so i put the pockets on the outside and because it was a fleece fabric i actually zigzagged i did like a pocket shape around there and then i zigzagged round I'll, I'll show you a picture of, it, of what i've done i zigzagged round and it was it turned out really well so that so this is the um this is the yoko top that i've made what i did was i cut down there down the, the side I gave myself a little vent and I had had pockets that slipped inside and obviously I didn't have enough fabric to redo them um, so what I did was I did pockets on the outside I did these kind of pockets on the outside and basically because of the fabric that it is I've zigzagged round I'll show you a close-up I don't know if you can go close up but I've zigzagged round and that's actually the raw edge but I've zigzagged round. I try to match where possible the actual pattern of the fabric. And so I've zigzagged round on both of them there and there. And um, so it's not as obvious that there is a pocket there and it's actually on the outside. Um, so that's the upside. Now, if you've been watching in one of my videos down there, my helium video, uh, that in particular, that one is just a little snippet of me singing Sing a Song of Sixpence because all that previous day I was singing to my grandson Sing a Song of si Sixpence and he kept saying again, 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 again Mama, again. So <laughs> what happened was my daughter-in-law, it was her 40th birthday and she turned up, um, she'd been in, she'd gone down to her father's to visit her father who was, um, lived further down from, further south from us and on the way back why did you call in oh they were calling in to drop the grand the littlest one off because i was going to look after him that night and uh as she called in her father had given her this balloon and she just said can you have that i don't really want it let, let him play with it and so on so she kept she gave it to me and then the next day i took the grandson back home and of course i then ended up with this helium balloon and uh, so my husband he makes the tea I'll have to tell you the story about that in a minute. He makes the tea, but um, he always makes the evening meal. He cooks. He loves cooking. And uh, I went into the sitting room and I'm thinking, oh, I've got to get rid of this balloon. I'm not having this. There's nobody here. It's a 40th birthday. I'm not going to celebrate with it. I don't need it. So <laughs> I suddenly, in my head, I suddenly thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll take in some helium when I walk in the kitchen and start talking to my husband. And he'll go, what the heck are you talking like that for? But I couldn't do it because I was laughing so much. So I went into the kitchen and my husband said, what are you laughing for? And I said, and I eventually got it out to tell him. And he burst out laughing. And he said, and I said, I, said I couldn't do it because I wouldn't be able to talk to you. I'd be laughing so much. So he said, well, what are you going to do? And I said, well, I said, I was, I'm going to let it down, but it seems a waste of this helium gas just to let it go out. So I said, right, I shall sing, sing a song of sixpence. And hence we filmed it. But I was actually wearing that top when we filmed it. This, the, 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 end, the, long, the long story short was that I did that. And it's in the video down there if you want to watch it. Anyway, this, uh, Yoko, this Yoko pattern it is. The good points. It's free. It covers 28 sizes, so it surely must fit most of us. Um, I think it will fit better for me if I used a, stre a, stre a better stretchy jersey. I will do it again because I do like it. I, there are, I don't think, there's no pockets in the actual um, pattern. That's all the pattern is. Just there, I don't know if you can see the line drawing. There's no pockets in the pattern, but it was easy enough to add pockets. So, yes, I would do pockets again, and I'd do them in the side seam, or even around the, the front, the way that I'd, I'd do either way. Uh, but I, I do think it's a really nice jacket, uh, jumper, top, jumper top, whatever it is. 
Um, the downsides, lost it again. You've got to basically find the right pattern. The good thing is that they're coloured differently. There's um, stripes and dots and whatever. So I followed that. Um, but it, the, it also you can cater for yourself, your children, your grandchildren, your husband if you wanted to. Um, it's it's multi sized so that's the good thing. And um, what else could I say? I don't think I don't find too much wrong with it. Uh, I'm pleased I did do a mock up first with this pink, because this red flower, red fabric. I have got some other fabrics I want to try it with. I think if you use a rather soft one, if you if your jersey is too soft, I think it'll just bleh, you know kind of it'll have no body no it'll just like hang like that <laughs> it'll just hang like that instead of hanging like that you know so um i think that one there no they all look fairly fairly substantial jerseys there so yes i am um, i will i will be doing that one again i did i did like it and i think if it's got a bit more stretch then the stretch might make the neck better if the fabric has a bit more stretch, it might make the neck, neck better. Um, what do I want to say here? I've just noticed these. Third, same lenses, different different uh, legs. I've now I didn't like. I decided I didn't like the previous legs, so I've transferred them onto the legs of my old pink glasses. So there you go. That's another third pair, another third style for my glasses. <laughs> I always buy a frameless one so I can save the legs you see ladies because often it's the lens that goes off first and the legs are still intact and I've got little tools and things so I keep swapping them over I must my husband I got these frameless glasses for my husband and he every time he had the grandkids he would roll about on the floor with them and he's on several occasions his glasses only lasted about what there must have been one only lasted about a week and a half and I had to buy a new pair. Thankfully, as I've said to you before, I don't buy from the opticians where they would cost about three or four hundred pound. I buy them online uh, from a company called, in, I've tried several, but I do like this one. It's called Zenny and I, they are cheap. Those ones there cost me about a hundred pounds and i have gone and bought some cheaper i've just bought my daughter a pair of reading glasses and hers cost 20 pounds and they were prescription ones uh don't have any issues with these glasses i don't have any issues with issues with the firm uh so i highly recommend it i'll put that link down below um so oh i was telling you about my husband yes my husband right when i first met my husband i was cooking rice and um i was doing this rice and I was doing it my way, the way I've always done it. And he looked over my shoulder and he went, you don't do it like that. And I said, I do do it like that. And he said, no, you don't do it like that. And I said, look, I, I'm doing rice and I've always done it like this. And I'm doing it like this. I'm not doing, no, no, you don't do rice like that. So <laughs> I said, so anyway, I said, look, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway he came back and he kept saying no no don't do rice like that so then when I served it I said well does it taste different he said no no it's lovely but you don't do rice like that and I said oh for goodness sake <laughs> so he kept doing this every time I cooked something he was over my shoulder saying don't do it like that you don't do it like that I wouldn't do it like that and I'm going oh for goodness sake so I backed off and I said right you can do the cooking from now on I'll be the dishwasher so um so from that stage he has always cooked and he's a really good cook he doesn't just stick to the it's not the plain old cooking it's sometimes the the chef type cooking he does really good stuff but then I, I said I'd wash dishes and then he said you need a dishwasher and I said no I don't need a dishwasher I like washing dishes by hand and he said no no you need a dishwasher I've always had a dishwasher and they wash them beautifully and I'm going look I like washing dishes by hand <laughs> so in the end we compromised and we bought a little small dishwasher not a big thing it's a half one which is nice because it does probably because it's just the two of us now it does um probably about two or three days dishes in one in in one go but i don't use it 
and it only gets used if we have visitors or if people come so I still wash by hand but I don't mind being a chief bottle washer and chief chief washing it chief washer upper as long as he does the cooking so whenever we come from work i'll say do you want some help and he goes no 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 you go and do your thing so i go and do my thing so isn't that lovely haven't i got a lovely husband i'm i'm not giving him away to anybody <laughs> otherwise i think i'll be eating crisps and biscuits all the time anyway uh what was that what else was i going to say yes i will be making this again uh i'm sure i will I'm very impressed by the pattern, A, because it was free. Ah, you see, I just noticed that. That's where, not looking, it says for 40% stretch knits. And I think that one that I did was probably only about 10%. So that's why it didn't stretch. But yes, it's a good one. Um, I think that is it for this one but i'm going to wear the same clothes i'm going to have the same hairstyle enjoy it while you can ladies because when you get your hair done it's lovely isn't it at least i like it but wait until tomorrow when i've been sleeping and gets it's all over the place it might be a completely different kettle of fish so till the next vlog bye